Welcome to another edition of Highlander News. I'm Macy. And I'm Michaela. Downtown Valley City has a lot of history. For the next couple shows, we are going to show you some of the options available in the heart of the city of Bridges. 35 businesses line Central Avenue, and our Highlander News reporters headed out to explore some of these one-of-a-kind shops. We start here at Blush Boutique, and we'll work our way north through eight stores along the west side of Central Avenue. Local entrepreneur Penny Walla recently started her own business in downtown Valley City. Reporter London Dietrich shows us the story. I moved to Valley City in June of 2016 and just realized there was nowhere um, for young girls to shop and my age to shop and I just thought it would be a good addition to the city and then when we found this location we thought it would be a, a great opportunity. We opened July 24th of last summer. I think this store used to be a bunch of different things, um, photography studio, a pawn shop. Um, when we looked at it, it was a music repair store that was just about ready to close. Penny has always had a great sense of style. She gets to pick out all of the products that Blush sells. Um, mainly women's clothing. Um, we have jewelry, candles, some accessories, and then we have our Lake Ashtabula clothing line too. Monday through Friday 10 to 6 and then Saturday 10 to 2 and those we expand those sometimes during you know Christmas hours and then Thursday nights during the summer we're open until 8. I think that there's something for everybody. I think there's there's clothes that teenagers like, there's clothes that my age group likes and um, there were clothes that my mom likes. I mean it, it kind of goes from all ages and we've got different things that appeal to everybody. For Highliner News this is London Dietrich. From bank to coffee shop, the vault provides a unique experience for the Valley City community. Reporter Kennedy Jorison serves up the story. The vault opened like six years ago, and we were asked to bake at that time, but we weren't ready to. And so last March, almost a year ago now, my wife decided it was time we came in and used their commercial kitchen to bake. And so that's what we've been doing. My wife opened this October 4th of 2017. It was my wife who owns this. She decided she wanted to do a candy store, and so I said I would come along with for the ride. I love talking to people. I like visiting with people and having good times with coffee, over coffee in the vault. It's a great place to meet people. This coffee shop isn't like most coffee shops you have been to. At the vault, it's a pay on your honor system. Prices are listed, and when you want to buy something, you are trusted to put your money into the cash box. Well, I suppose the most unique thing is, is that it is, that it is a self-serve, pay-on-your-honor system in the vault. In the candy store, I have bulk candies that I cannot allow people to touch those, so therefore this has to be manned. Out in the other part of it is wrapped candy that then the customers can pick their own. This used to be Kylie's Creations, this particular little shop, and then the vault as a bank and went quite a few years as a bank. Reporting for Highlander News, I'm Kennedy Jorson. The Viking Room has been the go-to place for a good home-style meal for years. Reese Hushka cooks up the story. The Viking Room is a restaurant in downtown Valley City that has been around for years. Owner Terry Jones talks about what it was before the Viking Room. It used to be a Foss Drug. Started off that, this used to be the drug store part, and then they had a little sandwich in a card place back there. And I have the, an employee here, Miss Tilly, she was, she was worked here then. So it's been around a long time. To Terry, it is more than just a restaurant. Well, I think it's a special place. It's a place where people come and they gather and they have a good time, set, drink, visit. A lot of stories, a lot of stories. There was a, a couple that came in from from Wisconsin, uh, some little town, I can't remember the name, but they went to high school here. They grew up here. And this was their pl our place, first place they went on a date. And they ended up getting married and they had four kids. It's pretty special. He credits his success to his wife. Well, it wasn't necessarily me, it was my wife. She's went to chef school, she is a chef, and it's her dream to have her own place, and this place come open, and so I just came and got it for her. Terry loves owning a business. What's the favorite part about it? Nobody tells me what to do. 
For Highlander News, this is Reese Hushka. Following in her father's footsteps, Renee Martin is on the cutting edge of her career as a barber. Reporter Luther Zeltinger brings us this story. This business, Valley Barber Service, opened, actually, it's been open for many, many years, but it moved into this location in August of 2001. This particular spot at one time was part of Foss Drug, and there's a pharmacy right in this area, and then the rest of it was kind of open drugstore area. Growing up in a barber shop, it was only natural for Renee to take over for her father. Well, my dad uh, was a previous owner of this business, and I grew up in the back room of his barber shop as a child. And as I grew older, I, I guess I was thinking that this would be nice to get involved in and take over his shop because he was looking for somebody to take it over at some point. Well, it's a people-oriented business. Obviously, it's a service-oriented profession, but it's the people that you get to contact you know, every day that come in here and you, the relationships you build. Um, you get to know their families and their occupations and hear about their vacations. and It's all about building relationships, I guess. For Highliner News, this is Luther Zeltinger. Callie Fretheim shows us inside one of the many pharmacies here in Valley City. Central Avenue Pharmacy is located in downtown Valley City. Open the store of August of 1989. Well, we have a full line department store, um, basically for the pharmacy, kind of that old time drug store. So we have crafts, we have toys, we have gifts, a lot of natural products, um, and then of course the pharmacy. Being a business owner has its ups and downs. Well, I like it that I can uh, make my own decisions um, about what happens in the store. So um, things like that. Um, what I don't like is that when you close the door at night, you still take it home with you because it's just all, it's just part of your life. The pharmacy provides the town with healthy options of medication. Well, um, we offer a lot of things that Valley City needs. Um, we also make sure that we give people the natural alternative to the medication. So we have essential oils, we have uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, and GMO-free um, products. Many customers choose to shop locally. We choose to shop here at Central Avenue Pharmacy as a family. Um, first of all, for the local convenience, and we also like to support our local businesses right here in Valley City. For Highliner News, this is Callie Fretheim. One of the hidden gems in Valley City is Oli's Attic. Hannah Sorensen digs up the story. Nestled under the old AT&T sign is a small shop called Oli's Attic. It's super cool that we are able to have a, you know, a storefront in a town. I mean, where I grew up, like that's not the easiest thing to do. Oli's Attic offers a variety of products from paint to collectibles. Annie Sloan Chalk Paint, so a brand of paint for furniture. Um, so you sell the paint and then furniture painted with it. As well as we do classes and workshops with it. So um, you can either take a class, learn how to use the paint, or we have some fun projects that you can do. There's very few places in town where you can just come and do something, especially during the winter, and just get out of the house, uh, you know, pick up a hobby. And that's, that's kind of what we aim to do. In this area, there's so much of the older generation trying to get rid of furniture, um, specifically to like their younger family members. And the younger family members don't want any bit of it because they're like, oh, it looks like grandma's furniture. But it's really, all you gotta do is like slap a coat of paint on it. For Highliner News, this is Hannah Sorensen. Growing up doing what he loved inspired Dean Sauer to open his own store. Noelle Thompson gives us an inside look. We opened this location in 2005. We merged Valley Office Works into Cheyenne Printers and, and it all became Valley Office Works. Dean Sauer, general manager of Valley Office Works, grew up working in retail and along the way discovered he had a passion for it. I found any mix of product really fun, but one of the, the main keys that all factored in was in high school I was in distributive education and through my DECA class um, I did a couple state competitions in retail. I learned that I really liked that sector of business. From pencils to printers, Valley Office Works supplies you with any basic office need. We have any of the office supplies that you could think of, the basic things like pen and paper and rulers and scissors and staplers, but we also sell office machines like shredders, we do sell office furniture, then we do have an art supply section. Unlike online stores, you can physically test out the product you want before you buy it. There aren't a lot of standalone office supply stores anymore um, that are independently owned. 
everything has gone big box, to have a, a physical location where you can come and look at something and decide if you like it before you order it is, is becoming more relevant again, I think. It's important in a small town to, to try and keep that viable. For Highliner News, I'm Noelle Thompson. Hunter Birchall walks downtown to visit Wesley King to learn about the decades of service this gas station has offered to Valley City. Valley Service is one of the longest known gas stations in the area. Its rich history and customer satisfaction has made them a popular downtown destination. I bought the business about eight years ago in 2011. Uh, I started working here right out of high school um, in 1997, but there's been a full service gas station here since 1932. For almost 80 years now, it's been a, a gas station, full service gas station. Yeah. We uh, offer light duty repair, um, oil changes, tires, full service gas, some convenience, batteries, just whatever it takes to keep your car running. In 1932, this place opened as a, a Texaco. Uh, it was a two stall shop, and then it was remodeled about 10 years later. When you look at it now, it's a lot different than what it was. It was all glass in the front. Uh, and then it changed to a mobile in about 1980, and then it was privately owned from about 1991 until now. Just the type of service that we offer is, is um, not something that you see much anymore of. Uh, coming out and pumping your gas for you, uh, always getting a greeting, a smile, hello, uh, talking about your day when you come in and, and uh, get your gas. You know, it's just something you don't see too many places. It's that personal experience that makes us set apart from many other businesses. Reporting for Highlander News, I'm Hunter Birchall. Thank you for joining us from Blush Boutique in downtown Valley City for another edition of Highlander News. I'm Michaela, And I'm Macy.